your assignment first. Sure. Do you have the sheet that Mr. Taylor gave you? I do. Do you want me to read it to you? Yeah. You will work in pairs to plan and deliver an oral presentation to the class. Your general topic is the Westward Movement. You can choose any person who lived during the 1800s or any event that occurred in or affected life in what is now America during that period. That doesn't sound too hard. There is a lot to talk about. You're right. Didn't Mr. Taylor give us a lot of topics? Yes, he did. I have it right here. There's a huge range of topics. That's okay. We just got to narrow the list down. Why don't we look at the topics that interest us in the most? How about Lewis and Clark? Sure. Okay, their trip lasted from 1804 to 1808. It was a long, perilous journey through hostile territory, extending from their starting place in St. Louis, Missouri, all the way to the mouths of the Columbia River in what is now Oregon. True. Think how deserted you would feel all that time. I think I would feel lonely, that's for sure. Lewis and Clark also did some very cool things. For one, they created maps as they moved west, something that had never been done before. They also studied animals and plant life, and they collected all kinds of specimens to be classified. In addition, they began trading with the native populations that resided along the rivers on their exploration. Hmm. I have one problem with our topic. Doesn't everyone already know about Lewis and Clark at this point? True. My sister read about them two years ago. Let's keep looking for a topic that we both really like. What do you think about the Louisiana Purchase as our topic? Maybe. Let's see what we can find. I've read a lot about the Louisiana Purchase. This whole shaded area, 828,000 square miles, belonged to France. The land was purchased by an American government for very little money. Only 42 cents per acre. Today that amounts to about 236 million. The current residents are probably very happy that Thomas Jefferson made the deal with France. They are today. Back in the early 1800s, Congress didn't know if such large purchase was constitutional. Thankfully, everybody was able to come to an agreement. You know, looking at this land makes me think of another topic on our list. The gold rush. How so? Well, if it weren't for the Louisiana Purchase, it might have been very difficult for residents of the East to move across the country in search of prosperity. Hey, you're right. It's pretty astonishing to think that the people had the nerve to move across the country with little more than a wagon despite the risks. The settlers made such a dangerous voyage in order to fulfill the American dream and provide for their families. The risks made it possible for America to extend its influence in what we call home today. I'm kind of getting excited about the gold rush. What do you think about focusing on this topic for our report? I'm so happy that you said that. Let's get going on our research of the gold rush. How about this for our opening statement? On January 24th, 1848, James Wilson Marshall discovered gold in the south fork of the American River at Sutter's Mill near Coloma, California. By May, the news had swept through San Francisco and the gold rush was underway. Caught up in the spell of gold fever, thousands of men abandoned the cities and towns up and down the coast of California.